Hey everyone, Tanner Bell here from MakersGonnaLearn.com, your digital die cutting membership teaching you exactly how to use your die cutting machine from start to finish with every single project. We are so excited to continue our different hack series. We are so loving how much you guys have enjoyed our previous dollar store craft hacks with Cricut. So in today's video, we have came with you, to you with not only 10, but 12 different hacks. I think you guys are gonna be blown away with everything on the table, and I for sure would pull out a pen and paper because all of these hacks are super fun, and I know you're gonna wanna add some of these items to your next Dollar Tree shopping experience. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now guys, if you have not already been watching our Dollar Tree Cricut hacks before, definitely check out the other video. We'll be sure to link that down below as well, but we're so excited to jump into our first hack. The first hack is, have you ever had your Cricut mat and you accidentally threw away the plastic protective sheet that it came with? Well, we have a great hack for you. Go ahead, add this to your list. The shower liner from Dollar Tree, guys. You're gonna be able to take this right here. It's plastic, it's gonna be great. You're gonna cut it down to size and look right here. This is your new protectant sheet to cover your mat and it is going to do wonderful to be able to keep everything nice and secure. You're gonna be blown away at how great of an alternative it is for you guys that need this because so many people leave us comments saying, Tanner, what are we going to do? I accidentally threw away the protected sheet. I don't want to get dust everywhere. I don't want to get glitter on my mat. This is going to be such a great alternative for you guys that need to truly be able to protect your Cricut mat after you may have threw away the one that it comes with. Next up, have you been cutting felt and been running through your fabric grip mat too quickly? Or are you cutting with a Cricut Explorer Air 2 with your blue mat, green mat, and the felt is just ruining your mat too quickly? Well, go ahead on your next trip and pick up any type of contact paper. Now, clear contact paper is used most frequently, but if they don't have it in stock, no worries, any contact paper will do. You'll actually put your image um, on, you'll put the contact paper on the back of your fabric and put that to the mat. So what that's doing is going to keep the mat secured by the contact paper and it's going to cut effortlessly with your amazing contact paper and never have any felt residue to clean up. I cannot wait for you guys to try it. You'll be blown away. Now guys, number three is one that I know every single crafter struggles with and that is tool organization, whether it's your blades, your tools, your craft nights, anything like that, you are going to need a solution for. And the Dollar Tree is an amazing place to pick up some great solutions. I love this one right here because it can keep some blades, can keep some things that you need to have at your fingertips, some weeding tools, just everything is organized really well. And believe it or not, it's actually a makeup container. So you are going to really love being able to repurpose this makeup solution in your crafting needs as well. So you can also see that they have some really fun ones like the little cactus plant, they have the glass ones, um, just the traditional office. And then what they also have is hardware uh, storage cases. You could use this for different things like brads and all kinds of fun tools or anything, um, you know, embellishments, things like that in your crafting that is small that you want to organize. And then this one right here is just a pencil box. And we use this all the time to organize all the different types of scissors we need to have in each craft room or, you know, different areas. So if you're on the move with your craft space, all of these are going to be great solutions to organize all the tools in your crafting journey. Believe it or not, there's two different types of pins that Dollar Tree offers that you're actually able to go ahead and use in your Cricut to draw with your machine. You do not have to use the Cricut pins. There are other ones that work really well. And a great little hack if you're using any different pins that are not Cricut related and they're not fitting snug into the little cartridge, you can go ahead and grab a rubber band and to give some extra support and stabilize it when it's in clamp A. What we've done right here is tested both of these out for you so you can see how both of these different pins and markers work in the machine. And believe it or not, they work really well and um, very competitive to the Cricut brand markers that are definitely a lot more than a dollar. 
Now this next one is really awesome. If you guys have been struggling with how to organize your scraps or anything like that, these two solutions are gonna definitely be great for you. So you're gonna be able to grab a binder and actually put some clear protective sleeves in there to organize all of those scraps and actually to be able to see through it or you can go with the mini accordion right here that is definitely going to be able to organize all of your scraps really easily. You're gonna be able to open that up and visualize all of the different scraps super simply um, and really easily for you guys. Because if you're like me and in the past have had one huge scrap bin, it's very frustrating. So I like organizing them by color, by material and different things like that. Next up, every single crafter needs a lint roller in their craft supplies. Here's two reasons exactly why I think so. First of all, if you have any like debris on your Cricut mat, a great way before you're needing to clean the mat, you're gonna be able to go ahead and just pick it up really easily with no harm to the mat whatsoever. And if you are a big fan of Cricut Infusible Ink, you are gonna definitely want to have one of these in your craft supplies because before you use Infusible Ink, you have to lint roll your project to make sure there's no lint to get in and harm your Infusible Ink project. So this is definitely something that you need in your craft supplies for years to come. If you're a glitter epoxy fan, this is a really great hack for you, but really anyone that works with glitter, you're gonna absolutely love this hack. So this right here is a sifter that you're able to pick up at the dollar store, and then you're actually able to evenly distribute your glitter by putting it in here and then kind of just patting it to the side to evenly distribute that glitter onto a project. It's going to work really well and a lot better than pouring the entire glitter over a project. This is gonna help really evenly distribute distribute it very quickly and simply. All right, guys, this next one is totally a must have. It's so general, but it is so, so good. And we absolutely love it for all of our projects. And that is simple white poster board. Now, the reason why we are such big fans of white poster board is because we're constantly painting, staining, working with different material that we're going to, you know, need to clean up really easily like glitter. Um, and this right here is great to cover your surface, protect it, and easily able to throw away. One of the best parts is that you should be able to get probably two sheets for only a dollar at the dollar store. So you're actually gonna get a little bit more than one sheet for a dollar, which is really good. And it's just a really easy place to pick up poster board when you're running in there for other awesome craft items. Now, when you find yourself in a pinch crafting late at night, this right here could be your saving grace, my friends. This right here is just a top coat sealer for your nails that you actually can use. And when you're in a pinch, as a great way to seal any project um, really quickly, really easily. And chances are you may already have some in your craft or in your home that you could easily use in your craft area. But hey, if it works great once, why not grab some on your next Dollar Tree trip and you're able to keep it as a little backup for when you're needing to seal those projects really quickly and easily. Now, you're already going to Dollar Tree because you're super inspired for all the things that we have here, right? While you're there, go ahead and pick up a dedicated magic eraser for the craft room. You're gonna definitely need one of these for any of those scuffs or marks that you have on the craft table that you need to quickly clean up when you're in a pinch and don't wanna have to go down to the you know, storage area or your cleaning closet to pick one up because you'll have one right to the side of your craft area and it's super awesome for you know when you could scuff the table or get some paint on it or anything like that. It's gonna be a total lifesaver for you. Now this one right here is probably hands down one of my favorite craft hacks when me and Rachel were going over these. Believe it or not, these color-coded um, awesome rubber bands are way more than rubber bands. You assign different colored rubber bands to already open rolls of vinyl. For example, you would know that you're gonna use all of your green rubber bands for regular vinyl, and then maybe you would use the purple rubber bands to support all of your heat transfer vinyl or anything like that. Look right here at how easy it is to put it on the roll. Not only is it gonna keep it together, but it's gonna help you remember exactly what material you're working with. And I think, guys, this is hands down something every crafter needs because one of the biggest struggles we see
see with cricketers is after they open a roll, they don't know what vinyl is what. So be sure to maybe use the color-coded rubber band method as a great way to keep you guys on track with your material. Okay guys, this one has truly blew me away and I'm not even going to try to take credit for this. Rachel said that she was able to develop this project or technique or hack right there in Dollar Tree. Like, I wish I was there to see Dollar Tree really speaking to her, but look at this right here, guys. The secret here is that this is a simple paper towel holder that you're actually able to display your vinyl through, and it is amazing. I mean, look at this, guys. So you may have those, you know, 12 by 12 sheets, 12 by 15 sheets of HTV or anything like that. You just simply roll it up, and then after you roll it up, it can fit right through here. Guys, if you're looking for adorable ways to decorate your craft space very affordably, take your favorite color vinyls, you'll never want to use them, and just display it with the paper towel holder. I cannot believe it how fun and easy this little craft hack is. You're going to really have fun with this one. Now, if you have a small craft space, you may be struggling with different storage solutions. Am I right? What I love is that we were able to find this awesome over the chair storage solution where you're able to keep maybe some of your 12 by 12 paper pads, maybe some of your smaller six by six paper, some small mats, any material that you want to keep close to your craft table right behind your craft chair is a great way to use and not have to create any new storage spaces. You're already going to use your existing chair and this is a great one. So you can order this um, over the chair storage solution, pick it up on your next Dollar Tree trip, anything like that is gonna be super awesome for you guys when you're looking for amazing storage solutions. Definitely check out your local dollar stores, Dollar Trees, anyone like that. You're gonna find some great, awesome alternatives to maybe things that you would already find at the craft store, but find it a lot more affordable over at the dollar store. So be sure to check out our other video if you love these hacks and you're really excited to learn about some more. One of our favorite ones that we have used tried and true for years is this alcohol pump bottle. It hands down is our favorite, especially when it comes to Christmas crafting and making ornaments. You've got to have this. So if you want to learn more about what this is and why we use it, check out our other Dollar Tree Cricut hack video. People have loved that video and I hope you guys really enjoyed this one as well. Now, if you guys are not already a member to our die cutting community, Maker's Gonna Learn, be sure to check out that first link down below. Grab yourself a membership where you have access to amazing cut files, um, fonts, training courses, and so much more. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel um, for more DIY videos every single week. And until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.